Hey, on Fox tonight, mob boss Joey Merlino, who's made a career battling the feds in court, folded his cards today in a wide-sweeping New York mob case. He pleaded guilty to a single gambling charge that could put him behind bars for two years. His lawyer says this was an offer we couldn't refuse. Only our cameras were there. Fox 29's Dave Schratweiser spoke with Merlino after the plea deal in New York. Only Fox 29 was there as Philadelphia mob boss Joey Merlino walked out of the federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan Friday morning after doing something he's never done before, plead guilty to a crime. Just uh, why did you decide to, to plead? I can't discuss the case. The lawyers so don't talk about it. Well, we've never done that before. This is a first for Joey and it's first for me. We've never taken a guilty plea before. Dressed in a blue pinstripe suit, the 56-year-old Merlino stood before a judge and admitted he was guilty of using a communications device to place bets. Joey's been gambling his whole life, uh, and when you gamble on a virtual daily basis, uh, it makes common sense that here and there you may step across uh, the, the boundaries of some federal statute. Merlino was the only one of 46 defendants in the infamous East Coast LCN mob case to take the case to trial, but that ended with a hung jury two months ago. The jury count was 10 to 2 to convict Merlino in a massive health care fraud, and that could have gotten him 10 years plus in prison. Now he faces only two years. This was a, a, an offer we couldn't refuse. It says 10 to 16 months, possibly 24 months. Your thoughts about that? No comment. Merlino left the courthouse trailed by photographers and reporters. Never shy with the media, Merlino commented on a number of topics, from the release of his friend Meek Mill from prison this week to the fate of the 76ers after their first playoff round win earlier this week. Meek Mill got freed this week. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm glad he's home with his family where he belongs. And uh, the Sixers will win the championship. Uh, all the way is what you said. All the way. But when it came to reports of a new federal investigation underway in Philadelphia and a recent round of federal subpoenas being served on bookmakers, Merlino was not so talkative. Any comment on that? No, not at all. Subpoenas go out virtually every day of the week. They're, in a sense, like snowflakes. No two are exactly the same, but there's a whole lot of them. Merlino won't be sentenced until mid-September, and since he won't be in prison this summer, we asked him if he planned to make any trips to the Jersey Shore. He said, probably not. At the federal courthouse in New York, Dave Schratweiser, Fox 29 News.